hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time please subscribe and turn on the post bell for notification in order to receive the latest news about real madrid please guys if you're a magister please do subscribe to my channel so you'll go a long way to encourage me to post more videos here are the headlines guys today we'll be looking at the adjustment the los blancos have to make ahead of next season or face disappointment we also look at Los Blancos winger Marcos Asensio being linked with the move to English side Leeds United. So Magisters, look for a chair, sit down and stay tuned to get the news in full. So far Magisters, Carlos Ancelotti's new chapter at the Bernabeu has already begun. The Los Blancos are perhaps the most watched football team on television, but that doesn't translate into success on the pitch. Unlike Ancelotti's previous spell at the Bernabeu, the Italian manager will have to settle to a less star stood squad. The likes of Sergio Ramos, Varane and Cristiano Ronaldo no longer in the side. I couldn't help but remember Ancelotti's last spell at the Bernabeu where he won the 2013-2014 Champions League. But some of the protagonists of that generation won't be present this time to help him out. However, Magistas, I'll give you my own point of view into the matter. I think the defensive force need to be addressed before it's too late. We all do respect to Edel Militao, Nacho Fernandez, Jesus Falero. None of them have shown they have what it takes to replace the long serving steward, that is, Sergio Ramos. However, Magistas, the arrival of David Alaba from Bayern Money on a free transfer is a glimmer of hope at the end of the tunnel for the Los Blancos. But we shouldn't forget that, that David Alaba is not a natural centre back. Reports on Spain even suggest that the main reason behind the Australian decision to switch to La Liga was an opportunity to play higher up the pitch. The Los Moringues have not displayed any concern for any defender, which could be a massive concern for Ancelotti heading into a new campaign. Anyway guys, let's leave that behind and move to the middle of the pack. I think fresh ball at the midfield is more than welcome. The Los Blancos have relied on the All-Star trio featuring Luka Modric, Tony Cruz and Casemiro to lead the team to a domestic and European height over the past decade. Although Luka Modric reassured the footballing world of his ability to perform at the highest level at Euro 2020, the Croatian wizard will be 36 in September. And Tony Cruz, who is 31, has helped the panda in crime bossing the midfield in the past season with his version and passing range of the scale in La Liga. But the pair will need rest due to their age, as the Los Blancos are said to have a match every three days. With the return of Dani Ceballos to the base following an underwhelming two-season loan spell at Arsenal, and he seems to be below Madrid's high standards. Another lonely returning option is Martin Odegaard, who could be Ancelotti's go-to option to jeopardize the above-mentioned duo, if the club keep hold of him by the end of the summer. Even though rumors keep popping up on social media about Leon Goreska linked with the Los Blancos, the German midfielder has gone from strength to strength in Bavaria and could be a massive option for Ancelotti's side. Anyways guys, left aside assumption, gone are the days of legendary transfer windows. But the Los Blancos still need a star man who will help them win in Europe next summer. Whether it could be Paris Saint-Germain Kylian Mbappe or Borussia Dortmund Erling Haaland, Magistas are desperate to see Florentino Perez work his magic in the late stage of the transfer window. Magistas, we all know the Los Blancos have been pushing for the signature of the Parisian all summer. But reports on Spain claims that the Los Blancos have shifted to the Norwegian goal machine. If everything moves well, Pereira will try to seal the deal for, he, for Erlin Haaland in the coming days to avoid being pushed aside by Manchester United next summer. Because Manchester United is also interested in the young Norwegian. It looks like an impossible transfer, but Perez have shown in recent years that he is more than capable. Let's move over to West Yorkshire, England, precisely to Leeds United's stadium, Ellen Road. Leeds United are reportedly in talks with the Los Blancos attacker, Marco Asensio. Leeds United could make a move for Los Blancos winger, Marco Asensio, in, in this current transfer window. The Spaniard has been in Real Madrid since 2014 and played a key role for, for them under the previous manager Zinedine Zidane. So far, the new Los Blancos manager, Carlos Ancelotti, does not see Asensio in his plans for the upcoming season and will allow him to leave the club. This United, alongside with Premier League rivals Everton and Leicester City, are interested in signing the 25-year-old. Okay guys, let's just talk about the role or the position Marco Asensio might play if he eventually joins Leeds. Asensio could play on either wing or even the number 10 position for Leeds. 
but if he's bought pure as a right-sided winger, it may not make sense until they set a player in that same position. But right now, Leeds currently have two left-footed right-sided wingers, so this might cause some problems or Leeds United will need to sell them in order to create space for Marco Asensio. Reports claims Leeds United might move in for Marco Asensio if they miss out on Wolves winger Adamo Traore. Thanks for watching the video to the end guys, we have come to the end of today's episode. I would like you to comment in the comment section about your thoughts about Mbappe, Haaland and even Marco Asensio. Just tell me your thoughts what you think. I also like you to subscribe and turn on the post bell for notification if you love Real Madrid and if you want to get more vibes from this channel. Thank you.